Hello everybody, this is Chris at Y First Studios RC again and today is our first review and this review is for the Sports Cup S. It's a remote control plane, it's uh, very good for beginners, for um, advanced and for intermediate. So those three levels. So I'm a beginner, so this plane was amazing. It's got uh, the, um, the panic recovery mode and it's also FPV ready so you could buy the little camera, I think it goes up here, there's a little hole right there, I don't think it's get punctured or something, yeah right there, and then you mount the camera and then it comes with these glasses where you, which you wear, which has an antenna on it and it just shows you, shows you everything that's going on, on from the camera, it's pretty cool, um, I flew twice now, well three times if you count, yeah anyway, um, I had a little bit of crashes, but nothing's broken, unless for one of the control horns, I replaced it with another one, and uh, the motor here, it was, uh, it's a little delicate, but I fixed it. Nothing, nothing, nothing majorly damaged, yeah. It's a very, very durable plane. So the first thing I would like to go over is what it comes with comes with the airplane. Uh, it has a motor, receiver, it has a uh, rudder control, elevator control, aileron control, throttle control, it comes with landing gear. Okay, after that there comes the LiPo battery and the LiPo battery charger which is really cool. The LiPo battery is, uh, is a 1 series um, 3.7 volts 150 mAh battery, 25C. I actually don't know what that means. Um, pretty good. Uh, it only lasted like uh, five minutes in the conditions right now. It's very windy and cold. Uh, by the way, this plane, it flew very well and it was pretty windy. It was like, uh, I think 11 kilometers an hour. It was pretty windy up there, but it, it took it. And now, after that, there is the LiPo battery charger. So this is, you plug it into a USB, into your computer, or into an outlet with a USB or something, and it just charges it. And it will show you a red light while it's charging, and the light will turn off when it's finished charging. Very good. Uh, for LiPo batteries, I should, I should warn you, after you've fully charged it, you should run it a little bit, just to take out like maybe like 10-20% of the uh, power, so then it would last longer. There's a specific reason for it. Now, next, I'll talk about the remote. So the remote has three has three options here. So one at the bottom is beginner's mode, then it's intermediate mode, then it's advanced mode. Uh, I'll go more into that later. And then what we have here is the panic button. That this this panic button is really cool. It's called panic recovery mode. Or it's called safe technology, which I think it says on the front. Safe technology. Yeah, you see, it's right there. Safe technology. It's a special technology they're using in RC planes now. And helicopters, I guess. So basically, you press this button, and planes like, like this or something, or like this, it'll automatically write itself. Or if it's like this, it'll go like, write itself like that. Or it, it'll, and it will always calculate the quickest way to do it. So if you, if you start turning like this, Maybe it will decide to continue the roll, or maybe it will decide to reverse the roll. It depends, and it's very high tech. It's really cool. So now let me talk about the levels. So to do this, I'm going to have to turn the airplane on. First, I turn on the remote. Then I'll just move this out of the way. Then I need to plug the plane in. So I'll just flip it over, plug the battery in carefully, then stick it. I prefer when I'm flying to put it as far back as possible. And I'll flip it back up, give it a little bit, and there, now it's ready to be flown. And by the way, you should keep everything in neutral. So the throttle can be all the way down. This should be in the middle when calibrating. 
So now, as you can see, I've got full throttle. I've got rudder. I've got rudder. And this is all in beginner's mode. And I've got aileron. And I've got elevator. So that's all the controls. Now, now that I'm in beginner's mode, as you can see, it will self-correct. So see the elevators, they're moving automatically as I took the plane. So that it will automatically correct it itself. So if I, let's say, if I want to turn this way, it will go like this. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. That's bad. There, it will only let me go to that degree in beginner's mode. And if I straighten out, it will go automatically back this way. And as well for the rudder, they give me minimal um, control. And the same for the elevator. See the elevator is also automatic. And when I go up down, it will only let me go to three degrees and it will bring me out to that degree. So then if I go, if I go up, it will only let me go this mount. And then it's, the elevator starts to put me down again. Very cool. Very cool. Now, if I go into, oops, if I go into intermediate mode, so it's basically there's no auto corrections. But oh wait, I think I'm in. There's a minimal auto, auto correction. So where is it? Ah. There, it will only let me get to that degree, which is a little more than in beginner's mode. And then it starts to bring me back like that. So it's giving you a bit more range, a little bit less auto corrections. Very nice. Okay. Now, advanced mode. There will be no auto corrections, as you can see here. But the, actually, it still does a little bit of finishing to sort of make it a little more smooth flight. And if I go like this, it will let me continue going like this forever. So you can do rolls, you can do loops, like that. And that's very, that's very fun, especially for an advanced flight. But I'm not advanced, so I haven't done any of that yet. So that's really it, everybody. That's the Sports Cub S. It's uh, very good for beginners, uh, intermediate flyers, and advanced flyers. It's good for experts. It's very fun to fly. It's very durable, and it's fun. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, have fun flying. Another thing about the airplane I really like is the box. Look at it. So whenever I want to take my plane out, or if I want to keep, take it in the car, or if I want to take it somewhere like far from where I live, I just pack it up in here. Close the box, and I've got the batteries and everything inside in the remote, like that, and carry it like a suitcase, nice and safe, it's safe, teach yourself to fly, <laughs> anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video, goodbye.